Hey guys, my first ever product review for YouTube. And today I will be reviewing, you know, like I said in my video I posted yesterday, it's something I picked up at my local, sh local hobby shop, you know, you know, as of today, two days ago. And it is a Duluth Masabi and Iron Range 24-foot ore car, number 33145 from Athern. You know, looking at it, Standard Athern box on the outside with an oil load included sticker. But when you get to the packaging on the inside, it's anything but normal. As you can see, it's got a pocket on the inside of the insert where the car sits. You know. Not Athern's normal approach, but then again, it is a smaller car than most rolling stock they make, you know. And here, it's the wonderful little car itself. These cars are offered in, in a single car pack, a little single car, and four different six car add-on packs and Duluth Masabi and Iron Range, this one. Uh, Bessemer and Lake Erie, Lake Superior and Nishpeming, and Milwaukee Road. Now, these cars, well this road name, Duluth Masabi and Iron Range, the DM&IR was a was an ore hauling railroad in northern Minnesota, which is the good state I live in. I actually had a, an ancestor that worked for the Duluth Masabi Northern, one of the predecessor railroads of the DM and IR. Ah, uh, yeah, but they operate up in Duluth. Well, they operated up in Duluth until 2004 when they were bought by the Canadian National. And anyway, back to the car. The ore load is removable. And here's, you know, the oil load. Nice looking. Looks like it'd actually be a load of, you know, ore, or raw ore, or the taconite pellets just piled in the car. And now, here's the empty car. And there's the inside. Just basic looking, you know, nothing special, but then again, most of the time you are going to be running it with the load. But yeah, and according to the instruction I got with the car, there are various other things you can get for it, like a taconite load and matching taconite extension. And that goes, you know, right on the top of the car to extend the height a little. Well, to hold more tack tight. Eight pellets as opposed to raw ore. And then, you know, the car comes in smooth side, uh, well, in a smooth side and ribbed side of variety. The Lake Superior and Ishpeming are the only ones with the ribbed side. All the others, you know, Duluth, Masabi, and Iron Range, Hinge, uh, Milwaukee Road, and Bessemer and Lake Erie have this smooth side. Which, you know, has a plate over these little side support ribs that would normally be exposed. Back to the instructions. And, uh, as you can see, in a sec, there is a drawbar that you can get for permanently coupling groups of these nice little cars together. Very young groups of, you know, two up through the full 25. A single car and then each of the four six packs makes 25 cars in each road name. So all together in all four road names there are, you know, 100 cars. And I did the math and all 25 Cars of one road name coupled together 
over the couplers would be about eight and a half, well, eight feet and four real inches long. Not scale, real. Now, the lettering, crisp and clean, of course, you can't tell because I'm filming this on my DS. This and the camera quality isn't that good for film or for a video. But there are no, but unlike other Atherton cars, there are no car numbers on the car ends, just the car signs. Now, as far as the maker goes, I have no problems with them. Most of my rolling stock fleet is Atherton. Pretty much all of my passenger cars, except for or the two Walters Milwaukee Road streamlined cars I have are Athern. Athern I have no problem with. Walters cars and Acura cars, you know, they're pretty good too. Now these ore cars go good running together as a complete set or by themselves and even with a matching Diamond IR caboose like the Walters G2 caboose. You know, the G2 caboose designed by the Milwaukee Road, well not the Milwaukee Road, but the Duluth Misabi Northern back in, you know, the late 1900s, you know, before 1910, you know, around 1908-1909. They were used in service on the DM&IR well into the 80s. So, the Walters G2 caboose DM and IR goes well with these ore cars and of course the Walther's DM and IR Taconite cars if you can find them still. Well as the Duluth Misabi Iron Range Road name for the Walther's ore cars has been discontinued. And so they're kinda hard to find anymore, you know. Unless you stumble across them on eBay. Whereas you can get these cars from your local hobby shop, Train World Online, uh, Horizon Hobby, probably direct from Athern, or from Horizon Hobby through your local hobby shop. Now, you know, base price for the single car is you know eighteen ninety eight you know before tax and my local hobby shop hobby town had had it listed you know for that price base price for the six pack ninety nine ninety eight you know but figure getting six of these single or cars and renumbering them all except for you know one as opposed to getting the six pack price wise it'd be less expensive to get the six pack but if you just want you know two three maybe four of them getting you know the single car is definitely the way to go now next I will be showing you guys some footage of me running this car with some of my other DM and IR rolling